Your Holiness, once again, it's a great pleasure. We've done this many times, but it's always a deep thrill to work with you. And with you all, thank you very much for your stanima. You know, it's the fact that you've been here for so many days. Seems like a week. You know, as was said, I'm going to be speaking more out of the experimental side of quantum mechanics and relativity. Uh, and I do that because I think in some ways it's time to bring it all home. You know, what are the lessons learned? What, what is it that we can learn from quantum mechanics, Madhyamaka philosophy, relativity theory, that will change the way we see the world, will give us a fuller and more accurate view and which will therefore become part of the way we encounter the world, each other. And on the basis of that deeper understanding, benefit the world more fully. You know, I think one of the distinctive elements that His Holiness brought to mind is that we come together around this theme of quantum physics and Madhyamaka philosophy, not only out of an academic interest, but out of an ethical concern that if we have a wrong view, then we may inadvertently, without even meaning to, do harm. And so it's important that we understand the nature of our own identity and the nature of the world around us as fully as we possibly can. You know, Your Holiness, you like watches. Uh, Lewis Mumford, a historian of science and technology, said the watch, the mechanical watch, not the electronic ones, but the mechanical watch is a archetype or is the example par excellence of the classical machine. And thinking of the universe and ourselves as machines is patterned on the knowledge we have of the watch. The quantum computer cannot run the way a watch runs. If you looked inside it, it would break immediately because you'd be asking, which path are you going, left or right? Which q line are you in? You would destroy the ambiguity, and it's the ambiguity that we need in order to run the quantum computer. So the quantum computer is not a watch. It's a new kind of machine that runs on ambiguity, but of a very precise kind. It's a strange idea. I'd like to uh, end with a, uh, with a little video that's meant to uh, be half fun and half serious, which emphasizes the importance of context and seeing things in relationship holistically. Can you uh, turn the uh, video on? Can you go? Which monster is larger? Can you see the monsters on the screen? The back, back one looks much bigger. But now take away the context and move them so that they're closer together. Oops, and to put them on top of one another, they are exactly the same size physically. But when put against the context, one gets bigger than the other. And then there was a famous person who commented, on this <laughs> appearance is something absolute but reality is not that way everything is interdependent not absolute thank you <laughs>